Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today, man, I am back with another footies uh, predictions video for you guys. Footies does come out in about two days from the day you guys see this. Today is Monday. It comes out on Wednesday, but today we're going to be looking at the defenders and the midfielders for the footies predictions. Now, we have some very, very good players uh, that we can get for both of these positions, so we're going to get straight into this. Um, most of the graphics are made by me, especially the midfielders. I have one special player I wanted to include in there, but um, the credit for these guys that made these graphics is in the picture so you guys can go follow them on twitter or check them out whatever if you guys want to go ahead and say cool stuff or whatever so we're going to move over to this screen first of all this is the footage background that you guys do see when you enter ultimate team um it's like the first thing that pops up next to the team of the week but we're going to start off with the midfielder so these are the big boys these are the big guys uh who we have so i'm going to pop up the first picture right behind me most likely i'm going to try and move the camera somewhere so you guys can see it but the first picture we have kandogby and we have fred now these two Two guys are guys that I'm really, really excited about. Um, Kondogbia, not so much because obviously the nation changed, but every time I've played against his Europa League live card, he was just so good, so, so good in the midfield. And for the Liga teams, he's going to be absolutely nasty. And then we have Fred now, a guy who was very expensive at the beginning of the game, used by a lot of people. Um, so this card would be very, very cool to get. Manchester United, uh, Brazilian player, so he's going to get a couple links here and there. It's very nice, very cool, and all that good stuff. Um, so an 89 rated Fred would be very cool. Um, I remember he was like 30,000 something coins at the beginning of the game. He was very, very, very expensive. So those are the first two midfielders, and then we move on to the other two midfielders who already have had like special cards in this game, but they are very, very well-loved players in this game. We have Talishka, and then we have Hulk. Now, they both are Brazilian and in the Chinese League, not for the same club, um, but Talishka had an, has had, I think, two informs, has had an upgrade, and then has had a, was it a carnival card? And then he had, um, now he's going to get this footies card, most likely, I think, because he's just such a good player in this game. He gets so many strong links. Like, I think he gets a perfect link with Paulinho. Uh, so if you guys did the Europa League moments card, then that's cool. Um, it will fit perfectly with this Talishka. But man, this card would be very, very good in the midfield. Just a box-to-box -box attacking player. He's super tall as well. Um, just a great card overall. And then Hulk, man, this card would be crazy, crazy good with the pace, the physical, the shot power he has, um, and just like the stockiness he has. Man, this guy would be an absolute machine in the midfield. And he would be a, a guy I would probably vote for. If I had to pick between these two, I would probably go for Anderson Talishka, but Hulk is still a very good one. And then the final player that we do have is one that I included. It's not like in their guy in these guys' predictions, but I included this player because I think he should get in here. Um, because he ain't kind of like owe us a big, big SPC player. We have Paul Pogba now, 95 rated is huge for a footy card. Of course, his headliners is a 92 because he has a couple informs in the game already. Um, but this 95 card, I think it should cost you like 300, 400, 500k, something like that. Um, it's towards the end of the game, like give us just like a very good card for kind of cheap i guess for the price um but he's a very very good end game card and he would just be so much fun to get man why not give us a great footies card to get um and just get a very very good team of the season paul pogba basically now for the defenders i have three players only because i'm not too sure who we are going to include because usually um we take like the most used players in the game and then the those players are the ones who usually get nominated for footies so players like veron van dyke sergio ramos alexandro they're not going to get these cards because they already have better cards veron has a team of the year van dyke has a team of the year team of the season player of the year um sergio ramos has a team of the year the ucl card alexandro has the flashback card and so on so i have three players that i went ahead and chose so the first one that i went ahead and chose was is actually in the top six most used defenders in the whole game we have davinson sanchez whose card would be very very high rated man a 94 rated center back for spurs in the prem he his ucl card every time i come up against it it's already super good it annoys me every time i come up against it he would be so so good in the back uh so i think he would be a very very good player um and one that i think we should vote for he has about 39 million games played right now um on fifa so that card would be crazy crazy good to get um then i went ahead and chose a guy who i thought was going to be in the team of the season for the calcio a but actually didn't get in we have screen now milan screen very very good defender in this 
this game um, looking at the most capped players in this game he is at around 11 million games he's pretty far down I'm not gonna lie and that's only his 85 card uh, of course his 86 card was um, upgraded he was upgraded to an 86 walkout um, but this card had about 11 million coins and I believe he has a headliner as well let me check what rating that headliner is um so the headliner is about 88 rated which means we would get like a 91 maybe probably 92 screen is the one that you see on the screen i still haven't made the graphics for that one but screen is one that i think we could get he would be a very very good defender and in my opinion um i don't think he would win it if you had to pick between davinson sanchez and screen people would vote for sanchez because it's easier to link him up and all that cool stuff and then the last player i'm going to go for is david alaba but as you see behind me, man, I'm going for him because he has the fit birthday card, which is already like what 89 rated, I believe it is. Um, so I would probably go for like a 92, 93 um, rated left back Alaba. He has the hero card as well, um, but just a usable left back Alaba would be so useful to the Bundesliga. Um, even though they already have a bunch of left backs, an Alaba with a lot of pace and a very good Alaba card in general would be great. But yeah, guys, this is where I went the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm using a new camera for this video, so hopefully the camera isn't like leaning one way or the audio is like not off or something like that i'm doing my best i'm trying to upgrade the setup hopefully it's all good and all that good stuff but if you guys can drop a like on the video that'd be great subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you turn your notifications on if you haven't so you guys can be the first ones to see these videos thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next video have a nice day